What's up? Happy Labor Day weekend. It's Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to jump on here. I had an interesting conversation this afternoon with a buddy I went to high school with. His name is Nathan Lakota. He is a, uh, he's an old friend. Um, he and I played football together and, um, he talked about this afternoon that he wanted to get his real estate license and, um, that, you know, he was at a point in his life where, you know, he knew he was supposed to do something different. He wasn't, um, he wasn't completely happy doing what he had been doing for, you know, the, the last, you know, 15, 20 years. And he is aware that real estate is a great vehicle to change your financial life. But that's not the real reason for the video. The real reason for the video is because um, you probably know someone uh, who's about to or just gotten their real estate license with the promise of a better life, right? We've all heard that story. And um, we also know that a lot of the real estate agents that get into our industry, about 85% of them fail in their first 12 months. In other words, they don't make enough money to sustain the lifestyle it takes to provide for their families or themselves. And um, a lot of that is due to um, brokerages are just ill-equipped to be able to provide the type of information, um, the type of guidance that real estate agents need uh, in order to have success. And um, so what I've learned is that there are really, there are three different types of people who are getting into real estate. Um, number one uh, is, the, is the aggressive learner. Uh, the aggressive learner is like Nathan, the guy I just talked to on the phone. The aggressive learner is always seeking uh, knowledge. Um, he's calling people to get their input on the industry. He's, um, he's, he's probably listening to podcasts. He's watching YouTube videos. He's reading everything he can get his hands on right now. And, um, and so that's one kind is the, the aggressive learner. The second kind of person that's getting into real estate is the passive learner. And, um, the passive learner is the passive learner in a, in a lot of cases is, is, is the one you got to catch. Uh, because these are people that they're willing to learn, they're willing to do whatever it takes to be successful in real estate, but oftentimes they, they're just not seekers. And so they get overlooked. These people get overlooked because they're not seeking. Uh, but if put into the right situation, in other, in other words, if they join a team or if they um, get into the right um, culture or situation or coaching group or mastermind or mentorship, then they thrive because they're getting the information that they need in order to have success. And then, and then the third kind is um, the non-learners. And these are the people you don't want. The non-learners, they think they know it all. They, um, they don't seek to learn. They, they got into the industry or they're getting into the industry because they think it's easy. They think you just show up and you show beautiful homes and you meet people at the home, you open the door and then you sit at a closing and collect a paycheck. And that couldn't be further from the truth. So, um, so I just want to repeat that. So the really, the three different types of people I'm noticing that are getting into real estate are the, the aggressive learner. And obviously you want to be in business with those type of people. Um, and you want to make sure that they learn the, the right things to do in the right order and that they don't get discouraged. And then there is the one who you got to be careful that you don't overlook. That is the passive learner. And these are people that, um, if, if not given the right direction, they will also fail. And then there's the non-learner and they will fail almost every time. So I just wanted to throw that out there, especially for all you team leaders, um, looking for talent. The talent is thick right now. There are a lot of agents to choose from. There are a lot of, there are a lot of people getting into the industry that shouldn't be in the industry. And there are a lot of really good salespeople getting into real estate right now. Um, with the promise of a better life. And those are the ones you want to find. So I hope that helps you out this weekend. Have a great Labor Day and enjoy.